My name is Tuba Anwar and I am majoring in neuroscience and I am currently a, a senior ready to graduate. So um, I work in Dr. Michelle Olson's lab and we are studying the characterizations of Alexander disease and it's a rare neurodegenerative genetic disorder that we see in um, children and adults alike. So uh, the main focus of our project is to see if this disease, which is caused by an increase in GFAP, just an important protein in our cells, if this is somehow affecting the functioning of a very important cell type in our central nervous system, astrocytes. And um, if, this, if this mutation is affecting the functioning and is this somehow causing the disease phenotype that we see in children. And we're doing the study starting with mice first and then hopefully we can move it up to humans as well. And so Alexander disease is a very rare disease, but one of the processes that occur in the disease are important because they happen in Alzheimer's and multiple sclerosis and Parkinson's disease. So if we can figure out what is going wrong with these astrocytes, then we can apply this information to find some kind of therapeutic treatments for these diseases. So if we see that two of our main proteins are down-regulated in this disease, then we can find some way to restore these protein functionings in our disease patients. So I uh, shadowed a pediatric neurologist, his name is Dr. Alan Percy, and he works specifically with girls with Rett syndrome, and it's this disease very similar to Alexander's disease. So uh, I shadowed them and I saw these patients and I got very attached to them, and I wanted to work in a lab that was studying what happens with the disease and how we can combat this disease. And while I couldn't work directly with Rett syndrome, I'm working on Alexander disease, which is actually very similar to Rett syndrome. Okay, so some of the main symptoms you see, there are two types of Alexander disease, early onset and late onset. But some of the symptoms that we see are seizures, major developmental delays, mental retardation, motor control problems, enlargement of the head. So these are all different phenotypes that we see presented throughout the disease. And if it's an early onset, the children don't end up living very long. And um, the, the adult onset, they, it carries out throughout your lifespan, but it's a very fatal disease, especially if you catch it in the early phase. So I think one of the main things I've learned about neuroscience is that it's a very interdisciplinary field. So um, it combines the, the physics, chemistry, biology, all of those things come together to understand the functionings of our complex brain and spinal cord. So just from my project, I look at protein, we do some electrophysiology, some staining, and all of these different components are very necessary to understanding our brain because we don't know very much about it. We need to go at it from very different angles and perspectives. Okay, so I plan on attending UAB Med School in the fall. I really enjoyed doing research um, for a few years at UAB and I wasn't sure how much I would like it but it's been a really great and learning experience and what I've realized is that it's something that I want to continue for the rest of my life. As a physician I want to be involved in some kind of research so while it's important to be seeing patients and helping people feel better but it's also important for me to be contributing to better understanding a disease and finding ways to combat or treat or prevent the disease. My number one advice is be patient because nine times out of ten I think when you start in a lab it doesn't go that well. Um, it's a lot of watching, standing, observing, reading papers and it doesn't seem like it's the most exciting thing to be doing in a lab, but that's just the first step in getting involved. And if you can get through that initial phase, then it becomes a lot of fun and it becomes really worth it because you do a lot of troubleshooting on your own and you learn something that's completely different from what you learn in a classroom or reading through a textbook. You actually apply it and it's a lot of trial and error, which I think helps you grow as a person. 
So for anyone interested in the sciences, whether you want to do research or medical school, I think it's a great thing to get involved, when, involved with so you see how the scientific process comes to life. And UAB is great because there are so many mentors here and they all have experience working with undergrads, graduates, postdocs, so they know what kind of things they need to be doing to mentor an undergraduate student and they really help you help guide you throughout that process. So there's a, if there's a place to be doing to do research, it's at UAB.